Hello climbers, lovely to see you again. I hope you've all had good weeks. I had quite an exciting delivery the other day. My sister sent me some ice cream, which was very tasty. I wonder what your family's like. How many people are there in your family? Do you have any brothers? Do you have any sisters? I have a brother and a sister. And in our true story from the Bible today, we're going to think about a family with 12 brothers in it. Isn't that a big family? Do you sometimes have arguments with your brothers and sisters? The brothers in our story definitely had a lot of arguments. But hopefully you always make up with your brothers and sisters, don't you? Well, I don't know if you remember, but a little while ago we learned about a man called Abraham. I wonder if you remember what promises God made to Abraham. He promised him lots and lots of offspring. And do you remember offspring meant children and grandchildren and great grandchildren? Lots of them. And he promised him land and he promised him blessings. So we're going to think a bit about how God keeps his promises. And I've got some actions for that. We're going to say God keeps his promises. That's right. And in our true story from the Bible today, we're going to learn about how God keeps his promises called, through a man called Joseph. Now, Joseph was Abraham's great grandson. So there was Abraham and then he had a son called Isaac and Isaac had a son called Jacob. And Jacob, Jacob actually had 12 sons and one of them was Joseph. And we're going to hear a lot about this family over the next few weeks. And God uses Joseph to keep Abraham's family safe, like he said he would. Now, Jacob had all these sons. All of these sons. But his favourite was Joseph. And this made the brothers cross. All these brothers thought, why does he have to be the favourite? And then just to make it worse, Jacob made his favourite son Joseph a beautiful robe. Really lovely robe. And this made the brothers even more cross. They really hated Joseph. They just felt so jealous. Then God gave Joseph some dreams. Now in these dreams, God was telling Joseph what his plans for Joseph's life were. In the first one, there were 11 sheaves of wheat and each one belonged to one of the brothers. And they were all bowing down to Joseph's sheaf of wheat. Then in the second dream, the sun and the moon and 11 stars fell down to Joseph as well. And that was like Joseph's parents and his 11 brothers. And what God was saying was going to happen was that Joseph was going to be a leader. Now, Joseph told his brothers about the dreams and they didn't like it at all. They didn't want Joseph to be in charge. And even Jacob, Joseph's dad, he wasn't very impressed and he told Joseph off. But then he remembered that God keeps his promises. And so he did keep these things on his mind. Anyway, one day, all of the brothers were out in the field looking after their sheep. And Jacob 
was at home and told Joseph to go and check his brothers were okay. So off Joseph went, but as they saw him coming, the brothers said, oh, look, it's Joseph. We hate him. Let's kill him. That's not very good, is it? That's really horrible. And as he kept on going, Reuben got a bit worried. And Reuben said, well, let's not kill him. Let's just throw him in this well. See, Reuben secretly hoped that he could rescue Joseph later. So they threw him in, his, in the well. Oh, they took off his coat first. Threw him in the well. And they sat back and had their lunch. Awful. And then they saw some Ishmaelites travelling past. And Judah said, I know. Instead of just letting him die, why don't we sell him? Then we can get some money for him and we'll never have to see him again. So Judah got Joseph out of the well and he gave him, sold him to the Ishmaelites and they took him off to Egypt. Now, the brothers were really horrible. They tried to kill Joseph. They'd sold him. That's not something you do to people. And they were doing it because they really hated Joseph. They were so jealous, but also because they wanted to stop God's plan. Do you remember God's plan from the dreams was that Joseph was going to be a leader? And the brothers didn't want that to happen. So they were trying to stop God's plan. But can you ever stop God's plans? No, because God keeps his promises. Well, the brothers then went home at the end of the day and they took the coat with them, with them and they said, look, to their father Jacob. Some animal must have killed Joseph. We found his coat. Jacob was really sad. He loved Joseph and he thought he was dead. And we know that God keeps his promises. But Jacob, Jacob just thought his son was dead. So he was really sad. And the brothers even though they were the ones who'd made the, their father really sad, they tried to comfort him and look like they were doing, being the nice people. It was really, really horrible. But we have to remember that God keeps his promises. And now some of the characters from our story are going to have a quick game of Please Mr Lollipop Man. Please Mr Lollipop Man, may we cross your road? Only if you're wearing something green. So off goes Judah. Please Mr Lollipop Man, may we cross your road? Only if you're wearing stripes. Jacob can go across too. Please, Mr. Lollipop Man, may we cross your road? Only if you're a girl. Camel can go across. Please, Mr. Lollipop Man, may we cross your road? Only if you've got black hair. Off goes Asher. Please, Mr. Lollipop Man, may we cross your road? Only if you're the eldest child. So Reuben goes across. 
please, Mr. Lollipop Man, may we cross your road? Only if you are a boy. So Benjamin and Zebulun cross over too. Well done. Well, it all sounds horrible for Joseph. Thrown in a well and sold by his own brothers. And now in a faraway land, all by himself. What the brothers did was wrong and they were trying to hurt Joseph. And they were also trying to stop God's plans. But you can't stop God's plans. God keeps his promises. And in a few weeks, we'll see how God made good come out of that evil. And we're going to have a verse, a memory verse that we're learning that says, you meant to hurt me, but God turned your evil into good. And we'll think about that more next week. It's a bit like how people did horrible, horrible things to Jesus and made him die on the cross. But God made good things come from that too, as Jesus dying on the cross meant that we can become friends with Jesus. And that really is the best thing. So we're going to pray now and we're going to pray first a hands up prayer and we finish this wow. So we say, dear God, thank you that you keep your promises. Wow. And hands in prayer. Dear God, please help us to trust you, even when things seem to be going wrong. Amen. And we'll finish off with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Well done, climbers. See you next week. <laughs>